This is the third and final part of this work energy and power video series. In this video I'm gonna show you what is power and how to calculate it. So before we start press on the subscribe button and hit on the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos we upload. So let's start. What is power? Power is simply just work done in a unique time or rate of doing work. Let me explain. If 500 joules of work is done in 10 seconds, then power is 500 divided by 10, which is 50 joules per second. Now joules per second is 1 watt. We normally keep the answer in watts. So it's 50 watts. Now we know that power is work done in a unique time. Then you must remember this equation. Power is equal to work done over time. So now let's jump into some examples. The time taken to lift a mass of 5 kilograms to a height of 8 meters is 10 seconds. Calculate the power. So if you want to give it a try, pause the video and continue. If we look at this question, we see that they haven't directly set the amount of work done. So our job is to calculate it. So first let's calculate the force needed to lift this up. We can use the F equal to MA. So force is equal to mass into acceleration. 5 kilograms times 10 meters per square second which gives us 50 newtons. Therefore the force provided to lift the object is 50 newtons. Now let's calculate the work done. Work done is equal to 50 newtons times 8 meters which is 400 joules. Now let's calculate the power using the equation. Power is equal to work done over time which is 400 joules divided by 10 seconds which is 40 joules per second which gives us 40 watts. So that's how you use this equation to calculate power. That's all for this video series. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Press on that subscribe button and hit on the bell icon now to get notified when we upload more videos like this. So thank you for watching. See you guys soon in another interesting video. Until then, bye bye.